That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. it to the elevator and we're going to use this one for testing. We actually figured out a way to mount it and rotate the arms about 120 uh, degrees uh, using this snowblower. I just call it the window motor. Yeah. Uh, at the moment it is 35. Oh, this one? This week the chassis finally came in. So we got started on that Thursday, and uh, as of today, we've completed the full right side. We got it tested right here, both motors. Hello, I'm Adam. This is Amelia, and we are working on the elevator. I like to call it the guillotine, honestly. We have a lot of problems with it, but it's okay. We did some updates by adding in some more eyelets to make the ropes on the end pulleys pull straight down instead of into each other because that made the whole entire thing collapse. collapse. So put in bars at the bottom of each uh, frame. At the bottom of each frame to uh, make sure that it's all going up in unison as well as one on top, all the way on top of the most inside one. A lot of pull, but <laughs> we can we can get up to the height that we need to reach. So I'd say one of the major things that I worked on over this past week, this short past week, was seeing the different arcs of these arms. For this one, <laughs> for the first one, it's a well 90 degree arc. Just 90 degree bends everywhere. And that sort of has a rounded arc and that goes up, that extends up. The second one was a not as sharp arc. I can't remember the exact measurements. 20 something degrees. And this had a mixture of extending with actually going with actually closing. This last one just seemed to close. It didn't extend at all. And this was at 45 degrees. Figured out that the middle one is probably the best one to go with. My name is Jeremy and this is Caleb. We are we have been working on the figure project for the upper chassis team. So basically it's a fail safe in case the elevator stops working. So we'll have it mounted. Uh, it'll be like just for hatches. Um, so it'll just be level one, so we can stick it on, and then... This locks up. So then it doesn't fall off. And what we're actually doing is what was gonna happen. We are gonna have a plank, and it would turn left or right, and the robot would move. But the, uh, the robot reel kept crashing. We were using 100% of the CPU. So that's why we need a separate computer on the robot if we want to use vision. So this demo instead, it's just gonna turn 90 degrees based on the gyro. So... Press the button, turn 90 degrees, and it turns 90 degrees. So it means if I go like this. We're the chairman's team. Uh, this week we redid the slide that we are going to give to the judges, and Triana found a stem like template. And so this is the same slide as we are going to be viewing, but it does not have all of our notes. Okay, and then the other thing that we did today, um, we figured out who's going to be presenting at the different so, if you're on the chairman's team and you want to see this, that would be helpful. Wired up the 
Miss Tess Bench to work with two new motor controllers for the program which have a better understanding of what, like what's going to be on the robot. So there's two new motor controllers and then two of the other.